Boom, we're on. Hello. And today's <laughs> guest, we've got the beautiful Georgie Lyle. Don't know about beautiful. Scottish porn star. Woo-woo. How are we, gorgeous? I'm not bad, thanks you. I'm fucking amazing. Uh, you like it? F- ah, yes. <laughs> Always knew I liked you. A bit of flirting there. Uh, why not? <laughs> so how are we? I am good. 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 Bloody cooking. It's roasting the day, so isn't it's it? It's all about, isn't it? It's far too hot. So... Straight in, yeah. We're going to fuck about porn industry. Yes. How would I get involved? <laughs> <laughs> Shows you. <laughs> get right. it out. No, no. Um, Try to see your cameras off. <laughs> so how did you get into it? Let's go for a start. When did you start? What age? Right. What am I now? Christ, 34 almost. So I started when I was about 25, 26. I started on the telly channels, you know, the late night shows. Right. Um, With the tits out mm-hmm. on the phone. Talking to your man while you're up the stairs sleeping. Bastards. I know, assholes. But um, I started doing that about, oh Christ, for about two or three years. I moved to London, but I was married at the time to a police sergeant. Aye. Aye. How did that go? Don't hit me. Um, huh? <laughs> well, I'm fucking divorced. How do you think? Did he leave you? <laughs> I left him, you cheeky one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I left. I just, it was just, we were too young. We get married at 23. So. I basically left and then I went, moved to London and I just kind of took it for there really. I started doing glamour, eh, which I wasn't very good at because I fucking hate getting my photograph taken. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I just, I got asked to go into the porn industry. I got offered, no tell you what, but I just said, I went, I actually went back home and spoke to mum and dad first. And I said, look, I've been offered this, I've been offered that. So what do you think? And their, their only concern really, I think was, are you safe? You know, are you always going to be safe? You're not under any pressure to do anything, that kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. and I was like, absolutely not. And I wouldn't anyway. I wouldn't do something that I'm, you know, not comfortable doing. So you got into the porn after the divorce? Aye, after I. Was oh, that aye. one of the reasons? or was No, that... no, no. I just, do you know what? See, since a very young age, I knew I always wanted to get naked. <laughs> Did you? Well, it's Steph, I was, um, I was uh, lap dancing in Portugal when I was younger. When I was like 19. Right. Aye, so when I was like 19, that was kind of where I started. And then I went into recruitment and I was in recruitment for years until I decided to mm-hmm. go on the telly. So you went that next step further. The Aye. first porn video, how did you feel? Hey, do you know what? I wasn't too bad. I had my mate um, with me, Samantha Bentley. She was, she kind of guided me through stuff. She's quite a big mm-hmm. in, um, name in the business. She does a DJ now, I think. And um, she kind of like took me through everything. And I was like, do you know what? This is, how hard can it be, you know? Mm-hmm. Fucking hell, how wrong was I? Tough. <laughs> Jesus, I. Like, people that say, oh, I could be a porn star, trust me, Hen, you mm-hmm. really can't be. What way do you look at it? But do you see it? Do you enjoy it now? Do you look at it as a business? Do you go numb? What's it? How do you feel? Uh, it's a business. Is it? It's absolutely a business. So you're like a robot? It's just work. Aye, uh, you kind of are like a robot. It's great fun on set. It's so much fun. It's a great laugh. Um, but it's just a business. You're there to work, you know? Do you still get turned on? Didn't that? No. Do you know? <laughs> no. Do you become cold hearted? I think it's more, even in the first time, you don't because you're so kind of paranoid the first time. And there's like, imagine like 30 people in one room mm-hmm. and they're just sitting staring at you and you're the only fucker in that room naked. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, you're kind of terrified at first, but you get so used to it and it really does. It's like robotic, it's just like pure mechanical. So it's just like you just get used to it, normal job. Aye. It really is like a normal, just like waking up and going to work, and you know. The family and that we're fine with then. Aye. The only difference is I don't dread going to work, I bloody love it. Do you? It's just a laugh. Everybody has so much fun, you know. It's difficult at times, you know, because it's, especially in this heat, see if we're filming yeah. like fake taxi in this heat, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, we were filming last week and the sweat was pouring off us. I mean, that ain't attractive. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But you're loving it then, you're enjoying aye. it. Oh, I love it. And I you, wouldn't have it any other way. Do you ever feel, but when you're doing it, do you ever feel like used, uh, do you ever, is it professional no. manner? No, I've never had that. I've genuinely never felt used or or like, I've just ne- I've never had that feeling where people are just taking the piss mm-hmm. because you're always paid, you're all the, you're never not paid. I've never not been paid by a company either. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's dead professional. People genuinely don't believe it, I don't think, but it really is dead professional. The people in the porn industry are absolutely fantastic. I've never met an asshole yet. Do you know what I mean? I've never met somebody that I can say I don't like her, she's a bitch, or I don't like him. Mm-hmm. I really think they're all genuinely lovely people and we all look after each other. They ca- they take care of each other, do you know what I mean? Like their own, because we go through enough shit online. You know, social media absolutely fucking ridicules us. Um, there's just loads of stuff, like constantly getting... D- I've, I've had all sorts of stuff. I'm going to hit you with a hot kettle and I want to cut your face and... 
Aye, very good. On you so go. So she's all the trolls. Aye, just like stupid stuff. And then I'll get messages for lasses like, oh, why is my man emailing you and all that? I'm like, ask your man. He's a pervert. Aye, like, <laughs> He's a the, fucking dirty <laughs> pervert, that's right. What the fuck are you asking me for? Ask your man. But I just don't even bother. I don't even bother replying to them because they're just, you know, mm-hmm. I do feel sorry for them, but I don't. How do you, how do you, can you get, not, how, how's your relationships then? Are they normal? Are they about jealousy? Because I I, I'm jealous I, as fuck as it is, never mind. I would somebody say having, so. Somebody fucking I would say shagging, it's, know what it's, I mean? uh, it's very difficult. It's dead difficult. And I understand, I completely understand if you're not in the business, it's going to be hard for you to deal with something like this. But at the same time, a lot of people in the business go with each other, you know, like they have relationships within the business. It becomes then a bit easier because you understand that it's just the work, you know, with mm-hmm. the two people then get that it's just a job. Mm-hmm. But um, I, it's, it is difficult. People do you get do... jealous? What? Do you get jealous? No. Do you no, know? No. I'm not really like that. I just don't, I don't know. I don't believe in this whole, well, I'm not even going to say it, man. I'm going to be hated. Um... Like, it doesn't bother me if somebody else wants to go and have sex with somebody else, then you talk about things like that and you go and date together. Don't date behind their back. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, actually speak about it. I don't know what you mean, but I know <laughs> what you mean. I know the same thing. Like. It's kind of a different world from what a lot of people are used to, but there's bloody millions of people out there doing it. Do you know what I mean? So. But the suicide rate is high in the industry, isn't it? Aye, very high. Why do you think that is? Um, there's been so much crap going on recently, especially at the start of the year. Um, I genuinely think it's it's all about the people being so nasty online, you know, on social media, just your trolls, just mm. being rotten to people, being absolutely downright horrible to lasses. I mean, there's like beautiful girls out there getting called fat and all the rest of it, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck what size they are. Like, if you're, if it was different strokes for different folks, you don't need to be skinny to be a bloody porn star. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you think I know? But sometimes, like I say, we're kind of we're constantly searching, aren't we? Mm-hmm. So we're constantly searching. So do you think you've looked the sex avenue? Do you think that kind of gives you a bit of comfort or makes you feel good? Or... See, to be honest, see for me, it was more of the acting thing. I always wanted to be an actress, and I love acting. Like I love doing all that kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, I love just getting the scripts, reading the scripts, and you know, you need to learn your lines. And I'm like, oh, that's never happening. Mm-hmm. Um, but that kind of thing, I, I really, I feel more at home there. Mm-hmm. Like I genuinely see when I'm in amongst the whole porn crowd and all that, I feel like I'm actually in amongst people that, mm. you know, that I actually am just at home when I get on with so well. Ah, you feel at ease? Aye, absolutely. But I know you went to uni as well, did you know? I did, I <laughs> Talk about that. Oh, Jesus. You're allowed to talk about that? Aye, aye. So t- talk about what happened there. Because um, obviously you tried to go to the game, didn't you? Well, I, I did, I, I kind of gave up because my, my father passed away. Sorry to hear that. Um, and I basically said, look, I'm going to go and try and, Say something different. I'm mm-hmm. getting older, and I'd done it for two years, and I absolutely hated it. Like I kept passing out and everything all the time. <laughs> Stress. I just couldn't handle like taking a tube out of somebody's stomach. You know, oh God, mm-hmm. give me come any day of the week. <laughs> 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 just, and I just thought, you know, <laughs> I just couldn't deal with. It. I was like, this isn't me. And my mother even says to me, this isn't you. Mm-hmm. You are not this person. You are like you were born to do something different. Yeah, you were never this person. Um, mm. I'm kind of footloose and fancy free, you know. And How I long have you travel. been doing it for then? What's the goal for you? Do you know there is no there is no age limit as long as you keep yourself decent, you know. Can but you say you're doing it in your fifties? No, absolutely not. Jesus Christ, no! I think my mother would kill me. Should be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> the stress I give her. Um, I would say probably about forty. I think, but at the same time, there's so many avenues you can go into, and I genuinely would like to be able to start directing my own stuff mm-hmm. or producing something like. We've got a fellow Scott ourselves, Ryan Ryder. He does the fake Sorry, driving, the I fake driving his school. Real name, surely. Aye, aye, aye. I'm not telling you, really. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he does the fake driving school stuff, and he's producing all that now. And you know, things, something like that, I would like to kind of get into, especially if I'm going to hit forty. Mm. But I'm not even 30, 34 yet. So give me peace. No far Come off, on, for fuck's sake. Shut it, you. <laughs> where's, so where's all the work then? So how do you get work? Who contacts you? How does it go about? I, we do. We pr- kind of do that ourselves. But the producers and directors and stuff, if you're so popular, will contact you, and you know they'll have an idea or a script, and they'll think you'll be perfect for this script. Or again, it'll be fans and stuff that'll say to the you know like such as Brazzers, the fans will say they'll keep requesting you, and they're like, right, we better get you in for more stuff. Mm-hmm. so it's just really it's fan based director based and yourself like plugging for work so see when you audition do you need to sleep with people to audition no you never do that so Jesus you know, that's no even so I'm just thinking fuck it man I just got to start no. up my own business and just fuck everything <laughs> <laughs> never go even, to part that's not even a bloody <laughs> never thing never go to part <laughs> 
So you don't audition? No, that's So how do you know if you're good enough then? Well, I never audition, put it that way. I just basically went along and they see your look. You get a portfolio done stuff, they see your look, you go in and you do your you do what you've got to do. No everybody will get into the industry. It's harder for guys, obviously, to get into the industry. Why? But well, because it's so difficult for men. I mean, I tip my hat off to the guys that are in this business because they can't they to perform as a man with so many people looking at you. You imagine you are trying to keep a hard on and you have a, another guy hanging over your shoulder with a camera and one in your face. Like <laughs> used to with these, these two fucking perverts. Yeah. I've never seen my production team look so clean. They've shaved, they've got aftershave on, probably clean underwear. I'm just hoping you've not got a hard on under that table. <laughs> Have you stepped? <laughs> <laughs> you're no right. I'm working with a couple of perverts here. <laughs> so the future, because I've spoke to you and you're saying you're going to, you want to go to LA as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that the plans? It's a big thing, I. Why? Because that's um, really where I'm, the big bulk of the industry is. It's huge across there and it's just the main aim. Like, it's just the goal. It's the ultimate dream to live in LA for a few months, you know. Is that mere work money, mere up. work? Aye, Absolutely and work your ass off, you know, and make it big. Like, if I've not won an AVN by no next year, but the next... You're up for three awards, aren't you? I'm up for three at the minute. I'm up for um, Girl Duo with my mate Amber, uh, Paul Raymond. I'm up for Female Performer of the Year at the Paul Raymond Awards, and I'm up for the UCAP Awards, Female Performer of the Year. Are these the year. biggest? Is this UK awards? They're the UK ones, either. They're the only ones in the UK anyway. But to be nominated for them, like, it's all fan-based, so I was like, wow. Because I've only really been back, like, nine months now. Working? I have only really been back to the porn nine months, so... That's a tough life, isn't it? I know. How long, so long did you take a break for two years? Aye, pretty much. Was that when you tried to... Two years, I was still webcamming and things like that, though. Like, from home and stuff, you know, I was still doing my, my webcam. Many at the age of day. What, webcam? Aye. I don't bloody count that kind of stuff, come you on, know. you. Do you know how many guys, do you know, <laughs> do you know how many guys you've been with? If you know what is that? No, I don't count that either. You know? <laughs> you step. <laughs> Does so anybody get any fingers? <laughs> <laughs> get your toes so up you, the table. So did you, you no count all that stuff? No, I nah. do not. No, it's just not. Um, that's just not even something I think about. Do you know? To be honest, you're about the, yeah, you're well, the you only person that's asked me. No, yeah, it's because I care. I'm fucking tallying them it's up. Because I care. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another hunter this week. <laughs> so how do? But how does the guys into that treat you? So if somebody's trying to speak to you, do they treat you like? They won't treat you like a normal person, but they'll treat mean, you like a fucking so average guy. An average guy, uh, well, a civilian guy, we call them. So they, they're. So we've got a name. No, I. I use a name. Civilians, have we? <laughs> it's no nice. I genuinely hate it. It's, it's. I find it really difficult not to tell somebody that you do porn because if say you like you asked me to go it and I'm like oh fuck like what do you do? Well, I would need to tell you that I do porn because I wouldn't want to keep that for somebody. I I would feel. Unless you start throwing them about the bedroom and tying them up and fucking whips <laughs> after us. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> but I would feel dead bad because I'd need to tell them so. And then their attitude will change towards you, you know? So like, you think they just want to shag you straight oh, away? Oh, and then they think, That's they, just can, a standard they, think they can text you, really? Aye. They think they can text you dick pics and you're like, do you think I don't see enough of them, pal? Or like start fucking phoning you, like texting you their mad crazy thoughts and... What they're really into and all that, and I'm like, but I. I'm What's a, the creepiest thing? I'm a porn star. Like, I, that's, the see the minute thing? I leave that set, that's oh. my life's as boring as fuck. What's the creepiest <laughs> thing a guy's ever says? Uh, oh my god, over oh, I've had fucking hundreds of weird stuff. I actually couldn't see, like, for instance, even we're on webcam. Uh -huh. we'll go back to the webcam thing. We had a guy one day. It was a Sunday. Oh my god, I nearly I was nearly sick. Um, and they they can request us to open their camera, so. <laughs> Me and my mate are webcamming, right? We're on the wine and we're webcamming and the guy goes, open my camera, girls. And I'm like, shall we? And she's like, fuck it, open it. So we opens the camera and here's this guy, wedding ring on the finger. And I'm thinking, what's he going to do? Puts a bin bag on the bed, right? No joke. Puts a bin bag on the bed, proceeds to turn around, ask the camera. He's naked, by the way. Shits on the bin bag. <laughs> <laughs> by this time, me and my mate are just like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> That it gets better. He turns around, right? And then sticks his face in it. <laughs> I was just in total shock. But to get his kicks, I think the sheer shock factor, like our faces must get him off because I was just like, what, what? the f Man. You know his name? No. Sh name no. the bastard. <laughs> Shite your face. <laughs> Shite your face. No, but honest to God, I was just in, like, stupid things like that are just unbelievable. You get some laugh on webcam, but you know it gets to you because you're mm -hmm. sitting in the house and you're just doing the same thing again and again. Does it drain you? Aye, absolutely. Oh, aye. 
it kind of puts you off men for life. Aye. Aye. You, how's your so how's your mentality towards men? Do you you get very guarded? I find myself like I used to find myself I very guarded like completely, and I used to find myself like questioning everything. Like why are they asking me that? What they want? Mm. What, like all the time. And I just I find them I don't know. It's it's I think it'd be dead difficult to have a relationship because of the way like you just you just don't trust them. But can you can the shit you've I know, seen. but you can understand that a bit as well if the, if they're watching you aye. doing your videos, their heads would be fucked. Oh I do you know what I mean? <laughs> so men men are just as bad as women. Aye, absolutely. Oh absolutely. I mean? Christ, I know plenty of lassies that are just as bad as men, absolutely. Have you see um, an industry have you lost many pals? Aye, a lot, aye. Have you? Aye. Some or you'll get mates that'll pretend they're your mates and ask you for a sub. Uh huh. That's a cracker. Uh -huh. Can you lend me money? Are you lend the money? They never give you it back. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I've lost hundreds of pounds for stupid things like that because they think you're minted. And I'm like, hold on a minute, get off your ass and go and go work. You know, go mm -hmm. and get a job. Stop asking me for cash. Many jobs you've done this year. I haven't got a clue. No, no I don't fucking get any bread. I don't know. Done. No, I'm not interested. Sick. I'm just there to make money and go. You get a job every week, but. <laughs> Aye, oh God, I've been working every month since since I came back. I've not had any time off, really. I took last week off just to be at home, but, I'm, you know, this weekend I've got family coming and stuff, so I start back on the first. What about the future? What about kids or anything? No. No? Nah? No. How would you feel, though, if you if the Waynes were to watch back and that and all? I'll not have Waynes. Oh, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sick. No. You never know. I, I highly doubt it. Why? I highly doubt it. I just love travelling and I like... My own money. I like my money to be mine. <laughs> you like your own, like just, being yourself and just doing what the fuck I, you want. I am no very, I, I've never been maternal. Never been maternal. I've never even thought about like having kids or that. It's just not been something that I'm interested in, you know? Have you not? No, my, all my friends have got kids, but most of them, and they don't even let me babysit. It's like they would actually just stay in on a Saturday night rather than let like, ask me to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. But for you, because you're a country girl, you know? Well, kind, aye, kind, kind so, aye. So, mm -hmm. aye. aye. So, for obviously, for that, is it for where your face a small area, is it not? Oh, it's tiny, aye. Do mm -hmm. people, do they wave to you, do they smile, or does it head down? Uh, not really, no. I don't think they like me very much, but I don't care. <laughs> it's not something I actually give a shit about. But, um, no, like, when I first moved back from London to here, that would have been five years ago, um, I had a lot of crap, you know, like, people screaming at me in the street and stuff, and, like, you, you slut, and... I had young lads throwing things out of car windows at me and what? stuff like that. I know, I was just like, oh, here we go, for fuck's sake. But how does that, so you've just got that basically, they barriers up to say, fuck it, I'm mm -hmm. not going to take any of this shit. But, but then again, that is an act as well. Aye, but what that, can you that do? That is like I... a, a shield to go, and it's, it's like I say, you've got to grab that shield, but sometimes there comes a time where Aye, it, you... it can fucking eventually hit you, and that's where, why I think the suicide rate is so high in that industry I because, would say so, aye. because people are judged for what they do and you can kind of understand that as well but like I say it is a business and everybody's mm. different everybody's got different but it's the way people perceive things and yet the majority of people who slag it are fucking watching it oh aye do you know absolutely what I, mean? oh, aye. Is, I don't watch porn myself but what talk shit hey <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, Steph? Did you fuck it out? <laughs> I don't. I genuinely don't. Oh, I don't. I'm, I don't. I genuinely don't. All right then. Maybe get, when somebody I, get his maybe, phone. Maybe when, <laughs> maybe when I was fourteen, <laughs> ten, eleven. Yeah, right, right. but then no, no, it's not really like something that. You just like the real fancy. thing. I just like a mental connection. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me something spiritual. <laughs> fucking. I like, you know, I like my spiritual shit. Not I mean. So what's the plans then? Yeah, I know you want to get LA, so what's the awards and shit you can win all there? What's the ultimate goal for a porn star to achieve and go, fuck me, I've done it? I would like to win an AVN, definitely. And what's that? I, it's the biggest awards in like in America, so to win the AVN for somebody like me would be amazing. I'd just, I'd be over the moon. I'd be like, yes. Is that like, a, done like, it. like an Oscar <laughs> to equivalent of Pretty a much, aye. <laughs> and that just opens up so many doors as well. Yep. Aye, absolutely. Who's many other Scottish porn stars is there? There's no many. Me and Ryan Ryder. Uh, there's Amanda Rendo who's been about for ages. She does all the TV stuff. She's a lovely lassie. She's very good looking. Uh, can't remember what TV channel she's on, but she still does all that kind of stuff. I think Amanda's actually got her own business. What age is she? Uh, oh God, she'll be ages with me, I think. Maybe younger. I think. She looks younger than me anyway. So see when it's like fucking... See when it's like you're having orgies or whatever. How many people... What's the most people in the one room? Uh, I've actually only done two. So I think there was like 12. And I think the first one I've done was 12 people. 12 guys? 
No, no, no. It was last season, boys. So you're bi- are you bisexual? No. 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 So how do you go, how do you go with a woman? The birds in. It's a job, isn't it? It's an act. Is, is that the way it is? Aye. Just it's just an act. Shield on and, and away just, to work. Aye, stick your thing on you go. <laughs> you Down you go. <laughs> <laughs> but do you? So there's no emotional attachment there at all. No, absolutely not. There is a, there's no emotional attachment. You get on with, don't get me wrong, if you walk on set and you think, oh my God, like, you know, but that never happens. You know, like, the language barrier thing's hilarious, especially if you walk on set and you're filming with somebody that uh, cannot speak a word of English. That's good. But what if you walk on set and you don't like the vibe or you don't like the look of the person? You must have slept with a cut ugly bastard or something in the game, no? No, I wouldn't say. There's people you don't, like, find attractive. You're, mm-hmm. you're there to do a job. You're not there to fancy them. You're not there to fucking fall in love with them or... Do you know what I mean? To spend the rest of your life with them. You're literally there for a few hours to do your job and get out. Do people get, these get tested in that? Oh, Christ, I. How does, so how does that get about the the HIV tested? Because there's no fucking Johnny's used, isn't it? No, we're, we're constantly tested. Like, honest to God, see if people go out in a nightclub in town or something and they go out and they sleep with somebody, they're more inclined to catch something than we are. We're tested, our industry is tested every single week. We're, all te- we're not allowed to, like, every two weeks. There's no more of this monthly test and stuff. It's, it's a minimum of every 14 days. And basically, it, it covers all of us. And we all obviously try... The, the worst thing I think people do is if they sleep without the industry, so somebody in her business goes to a nightclub, sleeps with somebody or oh, yeah, does yeah, something, yeah. somebody else has done it, then before we know it, we've got a problem within the business. But it very, very, very rarely happens. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're, they're super, super clean and nobody can take that away from so them. So does that kind of like a book? Somebody, right, he's been tested this month, buying tick. So you're, um, it's all stamped. It has to be stamped by a doctor, like the, the surgery and things like that. Mm. Like the, well, the lab, the lab basically, that they stamp it. It needs to have a lab stamp on it so that we know it's no faked, mm-hmm. you know. Aye, it's fucking neat to be, man. That's terrifying, isn't it? Ah, it is, it is. Do you I mean, mean, touch bloody, that's no real touch words, but um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I've been fine. Have I've you? Ne- I, I've been magic for all the years, so they, it's very, very, very rare, very rare. It doesn't happen mm-hmm. all the time. Because people, like I say, the, que- like the questions I'm asking, it's, I don't think, I've never really, people's not really, it's just a bit to get a better understanding for people in it, because a lot of people judge it, obviously, with the same, which they're going to, but mm-hmm. there's more behind it, like you say, it is an act, and it is, well, an art, if you fucking say. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Who's the ultimate person you look up to me and go, I want to be her? Is there any in the industry? Aye. Or do you not give a fuck? No, not really. I'd just rather be myself. Do I want people fact? to like me. Mm-hmm. Aye, I want people to recognise the, the Georgie Lyle name, you know? And the directors not know you? Is it UK? Are you known abroad? No, like I work in Budapest a lot, in Prague, Paris, um, and the UK really. is. That's kind of the main areas in like Barcelona. Mm-hmm. Like them kind of places is where I fly to quite frequently for work. So like everybody knows you, you know. You've got an agent in these places as well, so the agent gets you your work across there, just purely because it's easier for you mm-hmm. to just sit back and let them do the work. Mm-hmm. Do you love the travelling then? I Everyone love it. comes with it, oh, every aye. expenses and that paid. I love it. It's great because you, you get to see the world for nothing. You know, you, you don't need to pay. You don't need to pay to uh-huh. see the world. Is it no lonely as well? But sometimes travelling and aye. no really like. You're not really at ease, you're not really settled, if you know what I mean. Aye, people so. think it's one big party and it really mm-hmm. is not. It's hard work and work. Because mm-hmm. we're up at, let's say, seven o'clock in the morning. You know, you're in makeup, you're showered and all that crap, you're in makeup, then you get makeup, and then you're, you know, by the time the guy arrives, you're on at like half nine. Then you start, and then everybody sets up, and then it's, you see, honestly, some nights you're not leaving there at eight o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. You're knackered, you know, then you're eating late at night, you're straight to your bed, you're back up early, and that's you constantly, mm-hmm. you know. What did, did the guys take it? No. They must take something, the lying bastards. No, 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 no. Rotate and keep hard. Well, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to so smash tablets work? into you? And then if you smash a load of tablets into you, then you can't come on cue. You'll, you'll never come when you're told to come, so. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, pump, pump, <laughs> pump, pump, squirt. So how does it work for the guys then? How can they keep, so they don't take it into... No, they're, they're bloody, they're professional. They is use that, the, aye? They, they use this thing up here. So do they get told, it's time, time to go? Aye, aye. And they, that's it, they're off? Aye, two minutes to pop shop. Is it? Do they get, get a shout out in that? Aye. What's the longest you've ever been with somebody, slept with somebody? What do you filming? mean? Filming. Or filming? Aye. Well, they're usually only half an hour. Oh, is that? Okay. Like fucking amateurs. Amateurs. Amateurs, man. <laughs> fucking amateurs. You're about half an hour, 45 minutes. Is that that? Aye. I thought it was uh, some of them hours. Aye, but you need to kind of like, that is proper going for it, you know. Is that? Aye. 
Like they can, you, you can stop like in between because they just cut it. Don't Get a wee break, now, a wee bottle of water. Aye, aye, aye. wee bottle of water, Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you take? <laughs> How's it? Because I know you've, you've not been drinking, have you? No, been I've been good. Behaving. I did fail on Saturday night, though. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I know, I know. I failed on Saturday night, but I didn't have too much. And see that, see no drinking through the week for me, it's actually amazing. Because I mm. used to drink pretty much every day. But like, like I say, when the drink comes in, it's kind of to numb things, but in it, it's kind of numb some sort of pain, some I sort think of it was, hide I... for something. Because... Like again, that industry at Kinga, well, fuck your head, and as much as we can block out all the hate and all the, the trolls, it, it's still mental as gases. Aye. So if you're having a wee drink, what happens is you're loosened up, you forget, and mm -hmm. you feel good, and you don't really give a fuck about it. But once you sober up to it, you go, wait a minute, man, if people are like nasty. Aye, Do you know, know what I mean? I try and not read their crap, you know, I try, I don't retaliate to it, and I just don't read it. But it's, aye, it is difficult. It does get to you. I mean, this business does get to you. I think you think as well um, in your head, like, I'm never going to settle down. Like, I'm just, just never going to happen, you know? And I think sometimes, some there's days you, you think, well, I would like to, and then there's days you're like, no. But, mm -hmm. like, children are just not on the agenda for me at all, like... But whatever you're thinking, you're going to attract, so if you don't want that, then you're not going to have it. I know. Do you know what Aye. I mean? So if you're not wanting the relationship, if you're not wanting if you're kind of unsure, then it's best just to keep doing what you're doing. Aye. But people change, man. F things change, can change in an instance. Whatever you're thinking now can change the more. There's a lot of people, a lot of people you're surrounded with booze and... Partying. No, no. Do you know you'd be really surprised that a lot of the porn people really don't drink a lot, especially the girls. You know, they just they're like, no, we don't drink. The amount of people I've met in this business that say they don't drink, don't touch drugs, I'm like, Jesus Christ. What's the know? average time for somebody to stay in the business? Yearly? There's still people. There's still a lot. It depends. Some people make it, some people don't. But there's a lot of women in this business that are still in their forties, mm -hmm. and they look incredible. Do you know what I mean? They they just look amazing. Like I've I know a girl called Aubrey Black, and I've never seen anything like her. She's stunning, and she has two kids, and she's got her own business. She's a porn star, and she looks phenomenal. And I'm pretty sure, don't kill me, Aubrey, but I'm pretty sure she's forty six, mm -hmm. and she just looks amazing. She's a bodybuilder as well. Like she, you know, you can do it if if you keep yourself looking good. But you need to keep fit and healthy. How Aye. obviously she the, doesn't drink. Surprise, surprise. Does she not? <laughs> no. Fuck's sake, man. But for you, if you're having sex all the time or not, do, can, do you do a lot of exercises done where your vagina is? <laughs> <laughs> like that's the first time I've ever used that word. How do you keep oh it? Oh, my God. Night? How's, not, obviously, some of you got older. Some of them are fucking hanging. Do you know what I mean? So Aye. I'm going to be honest. How do they, do they keep the exercise it to keep it? Aye. Squeeze your muscles. Aye. 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 Squeeze the all that. Aye. Oh, but have you know. seen some of their cocks? I I'd rather have a loose one. <laughs> <laughs> <They're agony. laughs> Steph has been taught a hell of a lot about it when you step. <laughs> I'm nearly crying now oh, for fuck's sake. Is it the, the get pain? The, is it sore? Aye, the guys are very good and they're so professional. They genuinely do. They I try keep their best. So professional, they but... try their best not to hurt you. Like you know, <laughs> but what can you do when you've got a 13 inch cock inside you? you know? Okay, no, I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's a problem. <laughs> Only a few is <laughs> You know, and it's hard. <laughs> it's hardcore porn. It's no bloody softcore. So you need to, you need to go for it. That's fucking nuts, but isn't it? Mm. Is there a time you go, oh, fuck me, man? What the fuck am I playing it here? But there's, a, there's a few times. There's one time I went in a shop for a company, and um, it made me squirt the guy right. But it was everywhere, and he done it that hard. I actually was walking through the hotel room that <laughs> night, and I fucking couldn't hold my pee in. It was hilarious. Oh, I could not hold it in. I was running through the room trying to get to, like, running through the lobby <laughs> trying to get to my room. So I'm fucking I'm going to pee myself. What's the biggest what's the biggest guy you've ever been with? Danny D. 30, I think he's about 13 inches or something. He's huge. But what? it's not just that, it's like that. It's fucking it's like a baby's That's arm. So fucking normal. I know. He's like a mutant. So how do you <laughs> so how do you prepare yourself for that? You don't, you just go for it. Do you? Yeah, you're there to just go in, smash it, and you know, and get do a good job. And get aye. To fuck. Do you ever, when you walk out your work, ice ever, pack? Oh, that was a <laughs> <laughs> nappy on. <laughs> do you ever walk out your work butt and go, that was, a good, that was good today, I really enjoyed that good shift, or are you constantly drained and tired? No, every day I leave my work happy. There's no day I go in and think, oh fuck. The only day I went in, it was, then I was like, oh no, pure embarrassed because I knew was nearly sick or oh, somebody's, mm -hmm. they were too hard down the back of my throat and I had a porridge for my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> What about if it's the time of the month and all that? How does that get about? Yeah, just go on with your work. Fucking hell, that's some job, innit? Crack on. Hey, days after you, a crack on. <laughs> Sponges. 
Is it? Stick a sponge in there. Have right? you got like makeup artists and everybody to stand by? And... Aye, the makeup artists, I hate it when you go for a company and they say you need to do your own makeup because as you can see, I am fucking terrible at it. So they, they literally just say to you and I'm like, oh no, oh no, I just rather not wear any. But I like, like browsers and stuff like that, you're always get a makeup artist on, on standby and they're always there through the whole thing because you get your makeup done, then by the time you've done your photographs, it needs retouched. By the time you've done your sex photographs, it needs redone completely because mm-hmm. you've got red lipstick all the way up here. And then then you get it done again for the actual movie. For looking so your if you're doing a movie, the day-to-day magazines and that as well, photos or... Aye, they're in a lot. Of, some, of the, some of the magazines will buy the picture sets to put them in, but we don't get a lot of that here anymore. That's like the there's magazines. a lot. Of, there's a lot of in Paris. Like when I was walking through the streets of Paris a few weeks ago, there's still you still see them on the streets or the dirty mags. Mm. Against it. <laughs> <laughs> what about? I need to ask you. What about the the Van Dyke King? Oh, for the love. What? what oh, she's got the water. It must be serious. <laughs> it must be serious. Did you get? Did you get me a bottle of wine? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. Cause it was all the papers. Dearest defender in the world. Fuck's sake, it's an old bad catch. What happened? Mm. Shaggle my Shut up. <laughs> You're dead. Um, we're, not going to, we're not going for dinner after That's this. What <laughs> so what happened? So what was it? What was the script? Oh, I get some look basically, I'm not saying too much on it, but somebody phoned me one day from a paper and said to me, Do you know that he's got a missus, she's pregnant, and he's also seen three other lassies that they could verify to me? And I'm like, What? Like, first of all, where did you get my fucking number? And how is this even happening? Because, like, he had no qualms about walking me about the place, so I hadn't a clue. I genuinely didn't know. I wouldn't even need another bloody woman's man. I, I was just like, what? What the actual fuck's going on here? So then I discovered that there was three other lassies, not just me. Super special. And um, Shaga. I know. Well done, Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and that was it. I was just like, you know what? Up yours. Like, take yourself to... Have you seen him but for a while? No. No, he was. Um, he contacted me and all that. So Did they? I'm not saying it, and that's will be in the paper in the morning. Ah, that's all right, don't worry, <laughs> but that's about free publicity, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, was that so? Is that what happened? But is that mm-hmm. and then because it was all the papers. But again, for the lassies, did you get a lot of hate mail through that? Because you had a message. You know, I never get a lot of hate mail. It was more of a. Uh, my mate showed me screenshots of a website that they had. Um, they had up, and it says all oh, her. And then somebody had put, I know where she drinks. She drinks in this pub. And then it was, we're all going to leather her. And I was like, oh, brilliant. How do you know just leather him? Mm-hmm. But the guys <laughs> I, don't, I was but, single. <laughs> but the guys don't get leather, do they? No, no, was it's married? always our fault. Was he married? Um, no. He misses. No. Uh, he's got, I don't know if he's married now. I've not got a clue, but. I was don't... that your gaff? His gaff he was coming out of? Aye. <laughs> Aye, but sure, this, this has already been in the paper, so it doesn't matter. He took me there. None the wiser. Oh, I just need to run in and get changed because I apparently just finished training or some crap. It was that long ago, I can't remember. And I thought, all right. Five no. Months ago. <laughs> no, it was not. I was like, all right, then I'll jump in. Jumped in. And I was like, where is all this baby stuff? Like, what's this for? And he's like, oh, it's my sister's. I was thinking, okay, whatever. Had a can of Diet Coke, sat on the sofa, waited. He went in the shower, got changed, and then we left. Right? 45 minutes, apparently, or something they put in the paper. And I was like, Oh, he wasn't that good, was he? <laughs> he managed to have a shower and change in that time. Um, but no, I just sat and waited on him. Then we left and we were supposed to go, like, we were going out for lunch. So he's floating about me in that? I, exactly. This is why I hadn't, I was just like, eh? Like, are you fucking that blatant? He always says zero fucks given. Aye, aye, well. What is it, Dutch? What is it, Dutch? Uh, I say Dutch, mate, uh, zero fucks given. Just sitting with a big joint like that next, don't it? <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, I don't. Did you get a bit, you must have, does that worry you as well, I know, what? that you've got all these people obviously because of what you do, that's a turn on for guys as well, for working in the porn industry. Aye, because they think you're a start raving lunatic in bed, when Aye. really I'm not. Are you shy? You're shy, Aye. in fact. You know I'm shy. I don't know, I'll discuss that another <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm not exactly dead bullshit, like I'm mm-hmm. not the one to go out and be the centre of attention or anything like that, that is just not me. Mm-hmm. I'd rather be sitting in the corner hiding. So seeing you do the porn stuff, do you think that's... To take you away for to who you really are then is I'm more that confident individual. when I'm naked, aye. 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 But that's a character then. Aye. That's not really you in person. Aye, exactly. So when you're in you in person, are you comfortable with who you are? Mm-hmm. Or do you overthink? Do you worry? Oh no, I, I you always worry though. I think it's just these days into all the crap on social media and everything, you're always looking for fuck's sake. But 
Like, I don't know, I'd rather eat a Chinese and drink a bottle of wine than diet. But do you, <laughs> you ever just feel it thrown, just in a, thrown in a table then? No. And going, fuck this one, it's too much hassle? No. No, because I love everything that I do. I love it. I would be lost without this, I think. Would you? I, I think I would be, I It just genuinely brings me right out my shell. And it makes me, I don't know, it makes me happy. Like, see the two years I was away for porn, I was miserable. Was miserable, aye. Something was, missing inside. Aye, I was genuinely... <laughs> <laughs> I've heard to you now, you fucking dong. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake. laughs> no, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, but see do you know what I mean? Because it it's, it's a character you've got. Aye. Right, that one, Steph. <laughs> is, um... But do you know what I mean? It is a character, and to, when you've got that mask on, that's how you still got to feel for people in the industry because it can't be fucking tough. It can't be aye, uh, all easy, all easy, this and that, especially with the hate mail, and that's where probably the drink comes in, that's where the suicide mm -hmm. rate is. Why? Because I've read so many stories, man, this aye, year, no. last year's fairly UK, enough's oh, I enough. Know. I know, and it was you know so I mean? at the start of the year, it was just mental, it was fucking crazy. Do you know these lassies? Well, only one of them, aye, but it was it's just insane. Like, I don't, we know of them through work, but we don't know, like, know them well, but it's just insane, you know? How's their mind, how is everybody else's mindset in the industry? Are they, are they all right or is they a bit fucking loopy? No, I've, I don't know. You get certain people that are a wee bit, you know, unhinged. But then who cares? The, the world's full of different people and that's what we need, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, creativity and individuality, but like, exactly. that, it, can, it must be a very tough industry. I think, like, there's one thing I don't do and that's escorting, right? Do you get treated as a hooker, but... Uh, aye, you do. Everybody thinks you're a hooker, and I'm just like, I, I take my hat off to the lassies that do it. The girls that do it must have some balls about them because I couldn't do that. I would be fucking petrified. Mm -hmm. Like, I, there's no way I could go to a hotel room and meet some stranger, and then you don't know who you're going to get. I mean, just by my luck, I'd walk in, it'd be Jack the Ripper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gutted laugh -ish. Um But no, I just couldn't. It's just know who I am. It's no, it's not what I want to do. It's not what I aim to do. Mm -hmm. um, money is. Like cash is king, aye, but it's it's not that important. So where do you draw the line? What's the, how's it when it, you're getting paid to do sex for pornos, but yet paid to guys are paying you for sex? How how do you? Because in porn, we're all, in porn we're all tested. Everybody's right. safe. There's a room full of people. You know you're going to work for a production company. You, nine times out of ten, you'll know who they are. You know you've got other reviews, and you know people that have worked with them. If you're rocking up to a hotel room with a complete stranger, you've no, you know nothing about this person. Do you know what I mean? And they're no tested. And I'm just, I just, just know what I want to do. There's a lot of the lassies in the industry then. Who, escorts? Aye, they do escort and aye, a lot of them. A just, lot of them do do. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm just too scared. I'm a big shit bag. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't do it. But no, you do get treated like that. People are like, oh, what? Like, people will say to my ex-boyfriend, oh, what are you going with that fucking hooker for? I'm like, well, that's funny because I'm not a hooker. <laughs> Well, that must fuck with his mindset as well. Aye, and absolutely. His, he, do you know what I mean with mm -hmm. the jealousy and whatever the fuck else goes on with? Because I, I'm a jealous guy, as I never mind seeing that or thinking about that. Do you know what I mean? Aye. So for maybe to meet somebody who needs to be in the industry to kind of understand that fucking... Aye, do you I ever think... see yourself getting married again? No. No. <laughs> no. Aye. I don't know. Like, I just... you would. I think us lot would need to marry in the industry mm -hmm. to be even a wee bit, you know, like you say, all the jealousy and stuff like that. Because for people to understand how this works and how it is just a job, people just can't get their head around it. It's only work. Literally. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, people just can't get their head around it. So no, I don't think I'd get married again. I get divorced at 26, so... Was know. that a tough marriage? No, no, he was great. Copper but, or no? Aye, no, he was great. I, could, I couldn't say anything bad about him, to be how honest. How did that, was that not affect his work? No. No. No, well, I wasn't in porn at the time. I was just on TV, but it doesn't matter. You're not breaking any laws. What was it, like Babe Station? Mm, nice, like Bluebird, it was called. What, what channel? Mm, 509, was I it think like it used to be. Aye, it was the old, on Sky. Old school one. I remember I used to get a free view. I did watch that, I'm not going to lie. I'm guilty aye, for that aye, 10 aye. minutes. You know what I mean? Wait for my mom and dad to get their beds where I'm fucking turn but, it on. Aye, it was pretty much just the same thing. Like, it was on at the same time as Babe Station. It was called Bluebird. But Bluebird were a porn company as well. They were quite a big porn company in LA. And this was when, 10 years ago? Fuck, hey, when I was about 26, I would have been 26 when I was on that. Did you ever get people that you knew phoning up? Aye. I'm amazed, just they came out the nightclub and phoned me at three in the morning. Hey, get your tits out. Was that on a computer? Yeah, the was phone. it on a computer, no, telly? Telly, it was on Sky, basically the Sky channels. So people used to phone you up and you knew? Mm -hmm. 
That's fucking mental, isn't it? Were you twi- oh, was it 24-7 thing? You sat in front of a fucking table? I used to work night shift because I love day night. Well, day- daytime you kind of get your bap suit, so nighttime you can get tit suit. Can you? So I used to work nighttime. Very... Is it more money at night time? Aye, aye. Aye, because you're getting pretty much naked. You're just mm-hmm. not allowed to have a pussy slip. Ah, bastard. I know. I'm not before in that bluebird. <laughs> Shite company. You want to went under. <laughs> So um, I know they used to phone up like having a laugh at night time and they'd leave the nightclub and they were all wrecked. So how does that, how did you get, because it's at night shift and you get me things that you get me on money? Aye. Mm-hmm. So people phone up your channel, is it a direct number? Aye, I, I, it would come straight through to me, aye. And people what, don't believe it, like the amount of people that have said to me, oh does that really work? Aye, it really bloody works. It, they are actually talking to somebody they're not bloody kidding on, they're talking to somebody they're genuinely speaking you, to somebody. Did they get the calls, the, the thing is, the people phoning? And it's other some at the end of the phone, you don't know who the fuck it is. Aye. Not if I have a phone mm-hmm. one, I'm just aye, talking to people. Aye, aye, aye. People, aye, aye. Do you know the best one I've ever had? Somebody actually said to me, no joke, somebody, I, I, was, I couldn't believe this. See that taxi driver that done that to you? Did you get him done for that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, eh? Are you, are you winding me up here? I was like, it's called fake taxi for a reason. It's a joke. <laughs> I thought that was real. Are you mad? Aye, very good. Who, so who is this guy that's got a fake taxi? Ooh, I'm not allowed to tell you. How? That. Oh, no. Is it a company, but is it, the, is it a guy who fucking drives the taxi? No, no, it's a company. Is it a company? Aye. aye. So it's all hush hush who runs it? Aye, no, it's a company with, um, it's the same people that own like Fake Hub and all that. Fake Hub. The fuck's Fake Hub? Fake, fake Hostel. Uh, oh, come on. And then there's another fake taxi in Prague as well. So I filmed in the one in Prague and then we went to the fake hostel that day. That was good fun. Is that like a. Same company? Or aye. No, no, it's all the same. Franchise? Aye, it's all under the same roof, aye. So you'll get the same under the same taxi? Aye, aye, pretty much. What I mean? Same as um, what Ryan Ryder does, the fake driving school. So what's this that. fake driving school? Fake oh, driving school, I'm the new examiner I've for that. it. Aye. I've seen that. Aye. Okay, no, I've seen it, obviously, man. I'm <laughs> sorry, you I did see it, I've seen it, it was on your Twitter. All oh, right, aye. Aye. So <laughs> I did see it. I was only is that when you're like, a driving lesson? Aye. I aye. switched to half butters. Aye, I so you did. So you did. I um, no, I've been made the new examiner for fake driving school. So Ryan's put me as the new examiner. So that'll be good because it just means I then get to pick my boys that I get to examine. Well, if you're all looking for a young, <laughs> handsome, strapping man, then you up for look it, no further. <laughs> you up for it, James? Money good. <laughs> is it? You're getting hee ho. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> so, how was Woody? They were at then, driving about fucking. Do you, how does he. I'm jumping again for question to question because that's what I do. How do you pick this? How picks the spots? And do you go to get a license or anything as well? Like just fucking drive a taxi and start banging? How do you. Did it just. Did it right, get, it's all private areas. Is it? Aye. Did well, you pick a private area? And, aye, you need to, don't you? Or do you? Well, in Prague, you don't. Do Jesus, you know? I was riding in Prague in the middle of the fucking. Honest to God, it was unreal. And the wee guys walked past just like, then he walked past again, then he walked past again. Now we're outside, like literally by a water bit, and there's fishermen across fishing away watching. This wee guy must have passed about 20 times, and then he just decided to watch. As that, like, oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> well, we, had, we had to keep filming, you don't stop. Do you ever get embarrassed? No. Do you know? No. No. No, I no, no, I've, I don't think I've ever been embarrassed. I can't remember ever being embarrassed on a porn set. It's mad, but how you can get embarrassed? You don't get embarrassed on a porn set, but yet real life, you're Aye. fucking. You're I know. I know. Nervous and shy. And I know. Giggling. Sure. You're sitting next to a crochet, a big belt. Aye, I mean? very good. But you, you know what I mean? It's it's funny how you can switch that character on when you're grown set, but then real life, you're shy. I know. You, I'm sure you don't like when I say that, but yeah. I know. What I mean? know. Noise up. You don't like it, but do you know yourself? <laughs> Fuck off. Is uh, when's the next? What's the next job for you? Hey, I'm going to London on the first to shoot, and then I'll not be back. I think I'm finished then, and then I'm away to Budapest again this next month, and then then where am I going? Jesus, I can't remember. Hey, and then I think be London, Budapest, and then back to London again if I remember right. And when's these awards? Hey, October and November. But I'm Two hoping I'm not here. I'm hoping I'm not here. It's not because I hope I don't... Fucking hell, I'm going to get one now. I hope not because I hope I don't need to go to them, but I'm hoping I'll be in LA. How do people vote for you? Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's Text. Text what? Aye, I can't mind. Oh, no! 
شون يطوى اه شون ما توى جورج ريو هاو دو يو سبيل اوت فور ذا ما توى هاندل از مس لايل اكس 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 سو اتس مس اند ذن ال واي اي دبل ال اكس 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 ذاتس ذا توى ذاتس ذا ات مس لايل اكس 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 سو ذي كان جيت ات اون ذات اف جست اوبند اب ان انستغرام ذا دي كوز ايفري بوديز بي مورين ات مي اون ماي توى اوبند انستغرام نمبر social media i fucking hate social media like i hate it it's just one of these things i did not want to have to like have i don't even have a facebook or anything but is that me for business i it's only for it's only for georgie like i for myself personally i don't have anything but jing has to get away for the trolls as well i just don't want it i don't mm-hmm. i don't like plastering my personal life everywhere so you can't date on instagram you'll get blocked i know i will i had to cover things like with me melons and that you know did you aye I'm, I'm, learning. Follow, I'm not following you on Instagram, man. <laughs> but Twitter's all out, man. You can do what the oh, fuck aye. you want on that, can't you? Aye, pretty much. Have you ever been barred or banned on that for that? No, no. But then I've got my settings up, so it does say adult content. So I don't think you can be, can you? Oh, don't tell me. I don't think so. I'll need to no, set up another account now. on your account. Aye, I know. Filth. No. But nah, there's hundreds, there's thousands business. days on there, so. Is there? Aye. Is that close? Every that porn community? star I think's on there, aye. They've got to be on there. That's where you get most of your, you know, your communication for people in that. Post all your scenes and stuff for, like, what's up, what's coming up and what's out now and all that. That Then people go and watch the stuff. Do you watch it and go, oh, that was brilliant? I did no, well there. no, 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 no. Do you not watch back? Oh, no. How? Oh, Matt, this accent, honestly, this accent. <laughs> I, I'm sitting like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate it. I just cringe when I hear it on, on camera. I'm like, there's no way, like, Jesus Christ. But sure. people love it. People love the Scottish accent. Where's your fan base for? All the world? Aye, everywhere, aye. You get mm-hmm. many fans from Scotland? Aye, aye. Are you? They're always, aye, they're always, like, Tweeting me and all that. Hiya. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> do you tweet back about your day? Aye. Oh, aye, all the time. Aye. Aye. It's aye, nice to be nice, isn't it? It's nice to be nice. But I was um, I was actually in London uh, a few weeks ago and I was stood at the train station and this guy passed me, the two of them. And then I could see them like double taking and they walked backwards. And I, he's like, excuse me, if you get a light, but he was Scottish. And I thought, he's just want to hear my accent. And I went, no, I don't smoke. And he went, I fucking knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, fuck's sake. But you get a lot of love as well. Aye, you do, aye. A lot aye. of people. Aye, obviously only for men, you don't get any for women. Do you know? No. Maybe, but have you ever had any violence or anything? Anybody try to... Aye. Mm-hmm. Scotland. Aye, aye. Yeah, with the hand. I've had people throwing drinks in my face, call me a slut. Fucking aye. Ideas. I've had people, look, I said, chasing me through the street, fucking want to leather me. Like, here you, come back here, I'm going to kill you. You're nothing but a whore. Like, well, really, how am I a whore? Like, what a day's a job. Everybody knows what's going on. It's not like we're doing it behind anybody's back. You can guarantee you've done somebody's man behind their back. <laughs> but you can see, <laughs> no it, five. like I say, a lot of people are insecure with themselves. So if they see a good-looking lass and maybe they caught their man watching you, then they're going to go up to you because oh, they're that. fucking cheating. Aye, what I mean? aye, I've heard that a few times. But that's just a lot of jealousy. Mm-hmm. So we take it in the chin. Like aye. I say, you're a very strong woman, a lady. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Before we finish... Um, a wee shout out because I know my good friends from football love you and watch all their stuff. We've got <laughs> Tommy Sheridan, Hi. we've got Des Clark, and we've got my main man Scott Arit who plays Methadone Mac. So they want a <laughs> shout out because they love fake taxi. I don't know what fake taxi is, Hi, right. but these guys absolutely love you and they were buzzing to see you. And so if you can give Happy them a day. wee wave and say thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wankers. Is, um, Georgie, it's been an absolute pleasure coming on. I know it's obviously Cheers. a bit random questions and that, but people are intrigued by your story. And like I say, man, you're a crack lassie. And I wish you nothing but the best for the future, man. And, uh, Thank you. For people with your awards, man, get voting and um, all the best for it. I appreciate you coming on. Cheers, pal. Thanks Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Boom.